what I'd like to do is to is to start off our Q and A by by asking you what you think about that final scenario. And really, how how likely, how possible do you think it is that our civilization might actually be facing a collapse? I think it's <clears throat> that we're facing it is 100 uh, percent. Anne and I were just <coughs> meeting in Switzerland of an international group, primarily scientists, who are looking at the issue of what the, first of all, everybody accepts we're headed directly for a crash. In other words, the business as usual takes us no place else. There's no question about that. The, the big issues being looked at, say, at the uh, study of existential risks at uh, Cambridge University and so on, uh, is are there any ways we can soften the collapse? What actual form will it take? And will it take a form that will allow us to do a reset of some sort afterwards? And what form will the reset take that will um, avoid just going down the same old route to yet another collapse? Um, I, w I don't want to depress you, but <laughs> the, the worst thing, the thing that, that I have I actually wrote about immediately when asked to by a journal for what the scares are in the Trump administration, uh, the big scare right now is the increasing chances of a nuclear war. If you have, if the collapse takes that form, you're going to stop worrying about resets and so on. You know, if it's financial, if it has to do uh, with uh, the, the building immigration crisis, if it's climate disruption, uh, wrecking our agriculture, and so on, one can imagine things to do uh, that would make it softer and give you a chance to think about what to do afterwards. Uh, if it's a large-scale nuclear war, even a substantial one between India and Pakistan, and there are a lot of people in India and Pakistan who would like to have one, who actually, some people say, tried to start one in the Bombay terrorist uh, event. If that happens, then everybody basically is going to be in a position not to do it. So on that cheery note, the main, of course, the main thing that you should be here for tonight is to buy this excellent book and read it because you'll find it both interesting and informative. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can uh, enjoy yourself intellectually while you're waiting for the end of the world. <laughs>